Yoshi, that outfit. <laughs> oh, right. The Harvest Festival's today. <laughs> but you haven't worn a costume to the Harvest Festival in ages. You're right. But I made a promise to my friends. Are you not going this year either, Dad? Well, uh... Uh, crowds of people aren't really my, uh... I thought so. Well, I'm on my way! <sighs> Harvest Festival! Yushi's decision. Wow! wow. Amazing! <laughs> the festival's a once-a-year event everyone looks forward to. Again, why it is that I have to participate in a dumb event meant for brats? You know, you were the one who brought up wanting to wear costumes, Glenda. What? Was I really? Yushi, I'm sorry you had to come out here as well. Hmm. It's been a long time, so I was kind of looking forward to it. Sometimes staying a kid has its perks. But it is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Your outfit hardly stands out. So, Glenda... What exactly are you dressed as? Can't you tell? These are the clothes of the elegant and fantastic queen of the demon world. In other words, my mother. What's there to wonder about? I wonder what kind of person Glinda's mom is. Oh, Miss Yushi? Hmm? Huh? Uh, hey, it's Mr. Dan! The Choco Chocos look delicious. You want some? Huh? Oh, sure. We can splurge on a day like this one. Wait just a minute! We're going to the magic store first! Uh, the magic store? You know, I'm not too fond of that place. Me neither. What are you whispering for? S say, we'll wait here. You go on ahead by yourself. No way! I've decided that I want to purchase a live slimy lizard. It's gonna take all three of us to carry. A slimy... Lizard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, where's Elmina? We should find Elmina first, and... There's no way she'd come. Knowing that brat, she'd say something like, I dislike rowdy occasions, and end up staying home in boring heaven. Have a cold? No, I'm fine. I'm glad you came to help out today. Each year we're short of staff during the festival since everyone wants time off. I dislike rowdy occasions. Hmm? Yes, ma'am? Pardon me, but would you know anything about the hero who appears in this book? I understand he lives here in this nation. Which one? Let's see. The legendary hero... Gunbard. Gunbard, huh? I feel as though I have heard the name before. You have? Really? I think... Huh? <laughs> Catching cold? Hey, now. I, the man once known as Courageous Gunbard, do not catch cold. <laughs> oh. I was stupid for asking. You wouldn't get a move on! <sighs> what a narrow escape. All's well. That ends well, huh? All is not well! Now look! Huh? Uh, Elmina? Huh? I have a question for you about the man known as Courageous Gunbard. Yeah! Gunbard's my father. What? What was that? And who are you? Miss Glenda, <laughs> you're being rude. It appears that this elderly lady here would like to meet with Mr. Gunbard. With Dad? Y yes that's right. There was once when he was of great help to me. I really just wanted to thank him. I, I see. Wait! Huh? <laughs> she smells. What? What do you mean? Miss Glenda, you're being very rude. I mean, smells of magic. You, you've changed yourself with magic, huh? huh? You, you're crazy. Ever since a certain very heartbreaking experience, I've become very sensitive to people who have changed their appearance with magic! Now, show us your real form! It... it's Ark! What, that Ark? You mean... Miss Yushi's? Why would you do that? Huh. So, 
you're really a bad person after all. How did you come to that? My question is why you need to see her father. Huh? Well, I wasn't really looking for Forehead's father, per se. I found it. I discovered who completed the Eternal Tiara. What? I found it. The person's name was Courageous Gunvard. Huh? What? My dad did that? <laughs> so when he said Tiara, he really did mean the Eternal Tiara? Your old man was the one who completed the tiara. What the heck is that supposed to mean? No clue. Dad never said anything to me about the tiara. Forehead! Huh? He says he'll take us part of the way. Let's go! Okay! How curious. Huh? Most curious. In any case, who'd have guessed that your father was the legendary hero who completed the tiara, eh, Forehead? I hate to disappoint you, Ark, but I think you have the wrong person. He may be a former hero, but he sure doesn't look like one. Hmm. So what kind of person is your old man, Forehead? Gunbard doesn't have the same big forehead as you do, does he? You know, my dad is... he's not actually my real dad. The truth is... My real mom and dad died when I was only a baby. Dad found me by myself on a battlefield and raised me ever since then. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry for bringing all that up. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I've gotten used to you saying things that really bug me. <laughs> oh, by the way, your costume? Uh -huh. Well, it's... it's supposed to be a cat. I know it's a cat. Is it for the festival? Mm-hmm. I thought that was something only kids did. <laughs> Which means you really are a child after all, aren't you? Uh, wait, but but this is... I just promised my friends... Because uh, they never wore a costume to the Harvest Festival before, so... Hmm... It's true! I... I haven't worn a costume for years now! Like, so long ago, I can't even remember what I did last time! Hmm, <laughs> hmm... Uh... <laughs> Fine, so I'm just a child. But you look pretty good in that. Hmm? You look cute in it. Uh, stop teasing me! What's wrong? Even if it was flattery, I did compliment you. That's uncalled for! Uh-oh. Guess I better shut up. day I just wanted to <sighs> you jerk that brat's doing pretty well with him I must say I am not so sure uh, um maybe following them wasn't a good idea I can't see up here I'm flying lower then you're positive he was here. Yes, he went in that direction with some girl. Hmm? Lord Frederick! What's your report? Sir, our investigation confirms that he has been identified in this area. Good. Speed up the search. He could not have gotten very far from here. Yes, sir! I'm home! Welcome back. You're home early. Yeah, I need to see you for something. Need to see me? Well, what is it? Well, um, actually, I brought someone I want you to meet. Want me to meet? You're not saying! No, no! Don't get the wrong idea. It's not like that. He's not that kind of person, so... Huh? <gasps> Ark, wait! Are you Gunbard, then? Huh? Well, yes, I am. And you're? I'm looking for the man who completed the Eternal Tiara. <gasps> Oops. 
Yushi? Uh, yes? Cube has gone shopping, so he's not here. Make some tea for our guest. Huh? Oh, sure. I'm on it. I'll just get right to the point. I heard the person who gathered the pieces of the Eternal Tiara and rejoined them was a hero named Gunbard. Are you that Gunbard? Well, are you? What good will it do for you to find this out? There is a certain matter that I wish to confirm with the man who completed the Eternal Tiara. Confirm, you say? I'll say it when I'm face to face with that person. I see. Then I'm afraid that we have nothing to talk about. Huh? In other words, I'm not the man who completed this tiara you've been speaking of. But, but isn't your name... It's true. My name is Gunbard, and there was a time when I was called a hero. But I know of no tiara. Nothing? Are you telling me the truth? I am. I don't know what rumors you heard, but you have the wrong man. I see. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't be of any help to you. After all, you came all the way to the mountains to see me. At least stay and have some tea. You, she? Is the tea ready yet? Oh, uh, yes? I think I'll excuse myself now, but please, make yourself at home. Here you go. So it wasn't Miss Yushi's father who completed the tiara after all, was it? <laughs> I figured that it would be something like this from the very beginning. Oh, is that so? I cannot say it looked anything huh? like that to me. It did too! But these two... Not a word has passed between them for some time now. What an annoying brat! This is her chance to clear things up with him. <sighs> Ark, you know... Hmm? Um... No, it's nothing. Why? Why can't I say anything? I should have a ton of questions for Ark. And I feel like I should cheer him up, but... Uh, I gotta say something. I must. Sorry to bother you. Uh, Best be on my way. You're... You're leaving? Yeah, there's no reason for me to be here. You're right. Okay. No, I'll go with you part of the way. It can't end like this. It's all right. I know my way back. Okay. It's not okay. You're right. Don't leave. I gotta... I gotta say something. Stop him. Tell him. Tell him something. S something. Goodbye, forehead. Say anything. I said nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Prince Arrow. <gasps> Prince Arrow? <laughs> Orders of Queen or so. told you so. Why don't I make it sound grand and tell you that I'm none other than Prince Arrow? You fools! You're disrespecting the prince. Sir! Sir. 
I am truly sorry, Prince Arrow. Frederick, huh? With you here, I guess I have no choice but to give it up. Highness, your long absence has already given rise to rampant speculation throughout the kingdom. I think it is about time you return to the castle. I trust you'll make the wise decision. You are right. I have been somewhat selfish lately. Also, it looks like I can't meet my objectives anyway. Yushi! Huh? Your name is Yushi, right? Oh, yes! Well, goodbye. Guard the prince. This is your job. Sir! Sir. You're letting him go without saying a word? <gasps> That's not like you at all. Glenda! No, not at all. You are not one to give up easily. <sighs> You too, Elmina? I'm sorry, but I was concerned. k -Kokolu. Now look! You have things you want to tell him, don't you? Then stop hesitating and go right now so you can! I am reluctant to agree with Miss Glinda, but I feel precisely the same way. Miss Yushi? The Miss Yushi I'm looking at right this instant is... not the one I know. Show me the real you. Kokolu. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Ark. Ark. Huh? Ark! Stop! Hey! Ark! Uh, get back, run! Stop it, huh? She's fine. Let her go. Is there something you want to say to me? I want you to wait! Huh? Back when... Back when the prince saved my life long ago, I couldn't do anything. I thought I'd thank him someday. But I stopped growing at ten, and even now I'm still a kid who can't do anything. But becoming a candidate has given me the hope of really becoming an adult. And so... Everything I've been able to do up till now has all been because of the prince. And then I happened to meet Ark. And at first I hated his guts, though I found out later he really was kind and he saved me. But Ark would only look at me as if I were a child, and that frustrated me. I wanted to become an adult right then and there. See, if I'm an adult, when that time comes, I'll finally get to thank the prince. Plus, I really have to get back at Ark for teasing me all this time. And also, and also, I have to let him know about my true feelings. And there are still many, many, many things I want to tell him. So many things I want to express to him. I'll make it as Platinum Princess. I will become an adult, even in Ark's eyes. So, wait for me. I want you to wait for me till I do. Very well. <gasps> I will wait for you, forehead. Ark! I'm so happy! <laughs> Why exactly are you crying? me to share these with everyone. Thank you very much. Here. What? Hey, it's empty! Uh, How dare you! Wow. <sighs> How beautiful. Yeah, the rainbow fireflies are the main event of the Harvest Festival. <laughs> I bet you really wanted to watch this with someone else, huh? What? 
<laughs> you don't deny it. Then I may not actually be able to see this sitting beside Miss Yushi next year. Oh, yeah? How? You see, for that to happen, she would have to become the Platinum Princess. That's impossible for a brat. Nothing you say can bother me. What? Huh? I have made my choice. I will be Platinum Princess. I think this means you lose today. Hm. Wow! Wait for me. I'll wait for you, forehead. Stop mimicking others. <laughs> Next episode, how annoying. The fairy world is full of lies. Your tendency to show off hasn't changed, Prince. Neither has your personality. <laughs> <laughs>